when did you learn this? When did I learn this? When You're about you to make that? a joke. Oh, you look at you. I have that feeling going to make a joke. When, when did I know what? When did you learn that Sam was a uh, bitch sometimes? Nasty. I knew she was nasty after the whole, when I did that video of, I don't know if you've seen it. I did that video on the drama between her and Kakian when Kakian took this uh, thing from her with her watermark on it. Okay, listen. Sam is my friend and has had my back. And off, we don't even talk about drama, okay? We talk about going to Florida and what we're buying for Christmas and bullshit like that, okay? Yep. But it's no surprise to me that people think Sam's a bitch, okay? I even talked to Sam today and we were talking about things and she's like, I know people think I'm a bitch, I'm a bitch. I mean, how do you watch one of her live streams and the word cunt doesn't come out of her mouth 50 times, okay? So I, it surprises me that you're just now learning this about Sam, right? That you think she's nasty? Nasty how, I guess, is what I'm confused about. She's just vile, mean, and like she comes up with the weirdest fucking conspiracies. Like what? She doesn't apologize for her shit. If you want, I can send you the whole video series and it's everything's there. It's like documented. Somebody said me defending uh, here for the team. I'm not. But defending. obviously, I don't, you know, defending I, I don't want you to get involved. Look, Peter, I don't want you to get involved in that part. I'm not trying to put you in a place where you need a defender. I'm just explaining why. It was rewarding for me to look into that because we were talking about that before. Like, for like, yes, I'm explaining. Yeah, it's painful, but you have to look at that shit and you discover this person's really mean, you know. And you kind of respected this person in the way, and they're doing all this fucked up shit. And then it's rewarding because you find out who they are. You're like, wow, I was supporting that type of person. You know what I mean? I don't know what you mean by that kind of person, I guess, is what I'm confused by. Yeah, because you, you don't see that side of her. Maybe you haven't seen that, that side of her yet. Martin, Maybe yes, I video. do. Hold on a second. Yes, I do. And I don't condone it, okay? Just like I don't condone Dustin's tweets that are nasty and ugly. And I've said things to him about that. And I don't like that, okay? But I didn't go into a friendship. Do you, I mean, people, like, this is where what baffles me about it is that y'all don't, like, remember the history of stuff. Do you guys not remember that Sam and I didn't get along? I came up with the word tea stains. Do you remember that? I said, I don't know why the bitch don't call all her followers tea stains. And everybody thought it was funny. And then she called me into a live stream just like this. And she guested me. And I went in there thinking we were all going to make up. And she came for me, right? Okay. So I contacted her off, off live stream and everything and i said look girl i'm not fighting with you okay about some fucking tea stains name i'm just it's just not that deep to me okay i make videos for people to have fun for people to see the laughter in it okay you know all these people think i'm like this puppeteer and i'm this puppet master martin you know it's not that deep with me okay you know i get up and i think oh what fucking video am i making so it's just not that deep right and um Peter sounds like here for the tea is buttering you up. She's so, so, so mean. I didn't say she wasn't mean. She said to me on the phone today, I know I'm a bitch. I'm saying I know how she is, okay? She's not like that with my interactions with her is what I'm saying. I've heard her in live streams. But when you use a clip in a video, when you use a clip in a video, okay, and you show two seconds of people that consistently troll her over. I mean, Martin, it would be like somebody trolling you over and over and over again. And you said to them, Peter Mon, get the fuck out of my stream. And then they use that clip and they said you were bullying Peter Mon. Really? Okay. You want to know the tea? Uh, you the tea? That, you wanna know on. The, hold on a second. You want to know the tea? The tea is in the video, okay? The reason that they got so upset about what was going on was because Stephen Mango promised Jen Gerard he would make the video the next day. But if you look at the DMs between Sam and Steven, what he says is, I have to put out this Kylie Cosmetics video, okay? So you got a woman over here that feels like she is in danger from a stalker. And I'm not getting involved in this, but this is what the backstory is that nobody's talking about, okay? So he promises he's going to put the video out the next day, a very serious video addressing what he put out there. 
but a Kylie Cosmetics video is more important than addressing the truth. Well, they weren't having it. And I, and they asked me what I thought. I said, I'm not getting involved in this. I'm not, this is not my fight. I'm not, I don't know this ginger art. Baby, she ain't paying my bills. I don't know her. Okay. I'm not getting involved in it, but they chose to, and I don't condone the mean things that were said. I, I didn't think that it was right. Okay. But Dustin's been in this community for a long time. Now I know that Sam comes across as a bitch. All right. I know that. I know Sam is very mean to people at times. I know that. I don't condone that, okay? But I know what she is as a person, and I know what she's apologized for a lot of her behaviors in the past. Dustin, on the other hand, you know, it's a different story. And Martin, Dustin had your back a year ago. People don't aren't remembering that today, okay? When Rich and all of them and Sam, they all came into your live stream and said, when your channel got taken down, yes, said, yes, yes, yes. not bothered, not bothered, yeah, yeah. not bothered, not bothered. And who was there defending you? Dustin Daly was there. And he exposed yeah. the truth. And he had your, right. right? Yeah, what's, so my, what's your point of that? My point is that all these people are attacking Dustin and they're looking at one or two days of his behavior instead of his entire character over the time that he's been on. And there's, oh, he's a bully. And, he, and people oh, are saying- Oh, hey, thank you so much for the 50 likes. I, I will, I don't know if he's a bully. I don't, I haven't really, because I, my perception of what a bully is might be different from what another per perception of what a bully is. But he has done this in, like, he's done this continuously bitchy ass behavior. He's always, I don't know if it's, he's upset, like, he's always been doing that. It's not they're just looking at this one little thing. I feel they're looking at multiple times of him doing shit consistently. And it's, it's, it's been like that for who knows I how long. I think, I, think the, I, think the, I think the word bullying gets thrown around a lot, okay? And I'm not going to condone the messy behavior because I don't like it. And you know that. You and I have had that conversation before. I don't engage in the messiness, and I don't like it. But what I would like for people is, why can people not talk about it? Why do we always have to take to video, you know? I don't, I don't understand it. It makes me sad. Yeah, with me, because this is what's going to happen. This is what's going to happen, okay? <coughs> Dustin's going to make a video, and he's going to retaliate to Steven. And I, you know what? Right, right now, like, I feel like the story was misconstrued uh, to some degree. That's what I'll say. I'll tell you, I watched Steven's video, and a lot of it I felt was true. And a lot of it I felt like was taken out of context. Now I know the whole backstory and you know, when you're a drama channel, you know, everything that's going on, right? If you're in the drama community, you pretty much know the whole backstory. Okay. At any given time. So what? the thing is, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. what do you mean? <clears throat> what do you mean? You know, the whole entire story because you're a drama channel. Like you mean like, as if we know what's going on with Steven. Well, you see the, I mean, you see the back and forth. Like, I've, I've seen, the, I've seen, seen bits and pieces. Like, with me, Peter, I've seen bits and pieces. I haven't really sat there and put everything together. Because if I was to do that, I'm fucking making a video because that's a lot of time, you know, <laughs> you know, putting into something. But right, for so example, what makes me, so what makes me for example, I saw Mama Beth's um, video where she showed how there was an email between him uh, Steven and her and how she he said that he was going to take that video down and make an awareness video or something but then he said something different so maybe there was a phone call I don't ha I don't I don't have a proper timeline of exactly what happened to me it's just well, puzzle pieces, you know? this is the okay so this is the problem right okay so everybody associates you with Paige right everybody knows so, well, Everybody knows you and Paige are friends, right? Correct. Okay. And I like Paige. You know I do. So if you, tomorrow, let's just say if Paige came out on Twitter, okay, and was messy as fuck. Now, I'm not saying she hasn't been before, right? But you're sitting there and you don't say ever anything because you just want to get along with everybody because you just want to make your videos and put them out. Because that's what's paying your bills and that's what you enjoy doing is you enjoy making content for people to watch, right? You can't control what Paige does. I will probably do a video about it. Fuck yeah. Oh, Martin, bullshit. You would make I will. Page. I would. Oh, he, he knows that. Me, me and Petty Page know that. We have that agreement. I'm like, yo, if I do something fucked up, 
call me out on it, you know? Obviously, okay, ask for my side, but I will go just like I did with you for the tea. I would ask for their side, and then I'll make my video and do it the best way that I can, you know? Like I did that video on Heat for the Tea. Hey, I try to Wait do it as a second. Nice. Wait a second. Kayla, Kayla F. said, I don't see anyone coming for you, though, Peter. Girl, where have you been in the last six weeks? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Girl, get the fuck out, okay? I have had to deal with more shit since the 22nd of December than any of these motherfuckers together. Do not come for me, Kayla F., okay? Girl, and if you're subscribed to my <laughs> channel, hit it. Because you don't know what I'm about, all right? People want to sit here and they want to fight about all this petty-ass bullshit about who said this and who said that. And I got to deal with some motherfucker out there that made a video accusing me of things <coughs> that there was no basis of truth in whatsoever. Don't tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Give me a fucking break, okay? Y'all want to go back and talk about what drama channels were really about back in the day? We were about having fun. We were about Sanders and I shading each other. Martin comes on the scene. He makes a video about Karina Kaboom and me and Aaron White and my dog Pee-Pee's biting her ass. It was funny. We can appreciate it. It's humor. It's gotten out of control. It's ugly. <coughs> the drama channels need to stop fighting. I'm tired of it. I'm removing myself from it. I... Listen, after I get off this last time, I was thinking about making a video tomorrow. I ain't making no fucking video about it. I am done with it, okay? If anybody wants to fight, they can all go fight. I'm tired of it. See, and this is the problem. <laughs> People think they know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about. You know, I'm up <clears throat> to my fucking armpits and attorneys, okay, having to deal with bullshit from drama ch a drama channel legally. Girl, you know what that's about, all right? You know how that is, Martin. You've been there. It's not pretty. Being where? When somebody's coming for your gig and they're saying things about you that are completely not true. Hang on. I've experienced... Oh, I, I always experienced that. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm saying with specifically some things you've experienced. You know what I mean? And it's, you know, I think like... I you know, never Roy, I'm so sorry. You're going to have to explain it. What do you mean? Uh, specifically things that I've had to deal with? Do you mean the cyber stalker Honestly, situation? Honestly, Peter, if you stop talking about it, people will look at it weird. Just be honest. Hey, Liz, how are you? Um, well, I'm not really sure what people want me to be honest about. I think I've been pretty honest about it. I mean, I don't condone the messy yeah, things. Yeah, I, I've dealt with that when people try to take your whole channel down. That's what you mean, right? Right, yeah. And they yeah. come for you when and they're you trying to ruin your life. Life. Yeah, I know what you mean. When they try to take your channel down, like, yeah. That's... Yeah, uh, I mean, that's some fucked up shit. Like that's when it gets to the point You're where really... have you seen my video, my one hour and thirty minute video? Oh girl, I don't got that much time. I'm sorry, babe. I love I mean I love Mark. <laughs> kind of that time. was the worst situation I had in my life, but you can't even watch that for me, Peter. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to send that to you. But that shit was fucked up. Like I went through some real fucked up shit. Like Kaylee, she said, "Watch it on two times." Yeah. Okay, let me. But I'm so glad I went through it. People, you know? people, people want me to be honest. I'll tell you, this is where I'm at with it. Okay, and I'll say my piece on your live stream and whatever. Um, I feel like number one, Stephen Mango. Okay, this has nothing to do with the uh, the video. Okay, but I've seen a lot of comments excusing Stephen's behavior. Because he's a new drama channel and he doesn't know what he's talking about. Baby, nobody gave us no fucking free pass. Uh, nobody, okay? Nobody was sitting there saying, oh, Peter's a new drama channel. Martin's a new drama channel. You, no, that's not fair, okay? That being said, I think people need to talk. I think people need to talk to together. I would love nothing more than for Dustin and Steven to talk, to talk it out. Dustin's in the chat. Dustin's in the chat. Dustin. I know he is. He knows how I feel. I've already did told him you, that. Let me ask you a question. Did you ever message Steven or did Steven take that out of context in the video where he be talking to Peter throwing shade? Because no, in the video, he shows you guys talking together and then Dustin's like, Oh, I'm sick of his gig. But then there's another clip of him saying that he loves his content, blah, blah, blah. Did something happen between that line? You were like, I'm sick of his gig. 
Like what no, happened? He, ad- I'm, he edited. He. <laughs> Okay. Well, first of all, he said it was my live stream. That was incorrect. It was Dustin's live stream. Okay. I was sitting at the Thornton's gas station. Dust. It was late at night. Dustin went live. And so I said, okay, well, I'll come in here. He wanted me to guest. So I came in. I said, what are you talking about? He said, Stephen Mango. And I said, girl, what'd you say? Okay. I said, don't be messy. And then he said something else. And he said something about him starting merch, which I said to you previously on here. Was kind of an ongoing joke with Dustin. It didn't have anything really to do with Steven. It had to do with any drop or any YouTuber that starts at like at 10,000 subscribers or putting, putting merch out. Okay. Put merch out at 500 subscribers. I don't give a fuck. I think it's funny. I think it's a little arrogant, but I think that about anybody, not just him. It's why I haven't put out merch yet. Cause I'm afraid ain't nobody gonna buy my shirt. Okay. <laughs> so, seriously. Let's be for real. I hope she fucking bankrolls. And quite frankly, back in the day, when Rich Lux put out his song, You're Exposed, I said the same fucking thing. Okay? When he put that drama song out. Drama, drama, mama, drama. And you know what? I could say that to Rich Lux right now. I could call him up on the phone and, girl, he'd kiki and laugh and it'd be funny. Because we can shade and joke about that. But this stuff has gotten so out of control. It's like... Dustin saying the context is missing. The context is missing. Okay. And the thing is, is that it makes me sad because I love Dustin as my friend. I don't condone his messiness on Twitter. I don't. Okay. He knows that. But other than that, Dustin is really, I mean, he tries to be a really good person. He's had a lot of people's backs in the YouTube community, including yours, Martin at times. Okay. And it just makes me sad. I asked him if he would talk to Steven. He said, let me think about it because I was willing to reach out to Steven and say, hey, would you talk to Dustin and just work this out between the two of you? I don't understand why people can't just work things out. Okay, I have had issues with everybody in the YouTube community. And with the exception of John and Karina, I have made up with every person I've had an issue with in the drama community. And I consider them all friends today. I would have no problem contacting you or Paige or Margo or Sanders or anybody in the community. And that's what I like. I like to make videos and I like to have fun, you know, and I'm not, I don't, I'm not going to back up from that. I don't personally have any issues with Steven Mango other than the fact that I feel like this could have been resolved without having to make a video. Okay. And I feel like he took some things out of context that made Dustin look really bad. And (laughs) You know, it's, any one of us could have our tax take. I mean, we've all been bitches and bullies at one time as a drama channel, period. All of us. There's not one of us that couldn't have one thing being taken out of context and had it shown to us like, oh, you're the most hateful person in the entire world. Are you telling me you've never tweeted anything out? You've looked back at it later and been like, oh, girl, that's why I don't get messy anymore, because I don't want that shit thrown up in my face, period. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, yeah. listen, listen. Rich Lux is very, very smart. Post, move on. Post, move on. Post, move on. And he loves it. And that's what I'm doing. I ain't buying into it no more. I'm so tired of the drama. It just exhausts me. It makes me sad. It makes me very, very sad. What? I was just thanking Michelle. That's why I try to quietly do it so I don't interrupt you when you're talking. (laughs) But yeah, I get what you mean. You want to... I don't know. I like the I like the challenge, the debate, the discussions, you know. I feel that sometimes it doesn't have to lead down the messy way. You know. I think it doesn't have to ever lead down the mess, messy way. You engage in it too, Martin. Say what? You engage in it sometimes too. You like the messiness of it. And this is my thing. Yeah, I, like, okay? I, like, I like putting it together and working it out. You know what I well, mean? Here's, here's the thing, okay? If you like the messiness of it, I don't have a... That's on you. Enjoy it, you know? But don't pull me into it. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, then I have to be part of something. I'm like, hey, woo, I, I don't have nothing to do with that. You know what I mean? So, like... Um, Hang on. Did you feel I was pulling you into something? Oh, no, no, no. I'm just using you as an example. Oh, okay. Okay. No. So, but, they said, yeah. they, said, they um, said, I don't feel like Martin's too messy. Well, I would agree today, but I feel like in the past you've been a little messy sometimes. Um, look, when I first made my drama videos, they, what people don't get, 
they were people I was friends with. So it was a whole different game. It was like, fuck you, you're an asshole, because they were, you know? I'm, I'm not going to take now, that. Mark, now, Martin, now, Martin, when you made the video about Aaron, Karina, and I, and I know my dog, Pee-Pee, we weren't none of your fr friends at that time, and you made the video about us. So I don't know what you're talking about. That's the bullshit right there. Hang on, no, 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 no. That was... That was like when I got into that different world. I wasn't, I don't even think you watched me back then when I first Why do you not got it? do the videos anymore? I thought that was like, that is one of my favorite videos you ever did of us. I thought it was hilarious. But that's the thing is like, I think like as drama channels, when we can sit back and watch, like that was, okay, that is such a good example. I mean, you totally made fun of all of us in that video, okay? You weren't any less, fair, well, I mean, I looked a little bit better than the rest. But I mean, you weren't any, you weren't any less like shade to one of us than the other. You know what I mean? And I look at that and I think, okay, why could I watch that and go, oh, he got in. Okay, this is funny. I like this. This is cute, right? But back then it was different. Today it's like, if that video came out today, Martin, you know that you would have a shit ton of people that would come to you and be like, you're, you're bullying Peter. Stop bullying Peter. Do you know what I mean? People did do that. People did do that when I made the video towards you then. Well, you deserved it. No. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't bullying. It wasn't bullying. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't bullying. People it was, would... It people, was funny. Like, I it's liked because, it. It's because you're mixing comedy with drama right. and people are so attached to these people that they're going to get defensive over every little thing you know what i mean i can't please everyone it's like you don't like my gig you don't like my gig you know so like people think i'm like they hate it when i put an accent and, on someone else and they go oh you don't put oh they think i'm being fucking racist it's I just, wish you, I just wish you'd get my accent right you can't do it you make, you make <laughs> an idiot <laughs> My friend, I have to tell you, you know that my good ta my good Judy Tanya comes and watches your stream sometimes. She's probably in here right now. And I love, she always gets in my car and she'll go, it's a boy, Martin Lewis. But that's what I'm talking about. It's like, you know, YouTube has gotten like, like somebody said in here, like Peter wants everybody to lighten up. I do. Like I said this to Dustin earlier and I said, I, you know, starting tomorrow, I'm going to shade the fuck out of some motherfuckers. And if they don't like it, they can move on because listen, I am a gay man that grew up in the gay community, shading people. It was fun. It was funny. That's how we toughened our skin. That's what drama was about back in the day. Why? I mean, why are we so tough about this stuff anymore? Why are we all such, I don't know. I don't know. And maybe I cultivated some of it because I got so nicey, nicey and all that bullshit. But like, I just think that we should be able to joke with each other a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I totally agree with you. I think people get... Like, some people get upset because I put an animal. Like, someone put a, me a deer over my head. That shit was funny. You know what I, I mean? Hold on. Somebody just said something about, I want to say this. They said, uh, but if everyone came together to stand for Peter over bullying, me included, I don't understand why it's okay to stand behind here for the tea when she bullies. Well, first of all, um, I feel like... <laughs> This is just me, and maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like uh, her saying, calling somebody a cunt is a little bit different than somebody accusing me of what they did. That's just my two cents. I don't know, Martin, if you agree with that or not, but I think the reason the drama community came together was because what was put out about me was life-ruining, and if you can't see the difference between that, I, maybe you need to have some things checked out, and I'm not trying to be a bitch about it. But it's a little bit different, okay? One. Number two, I don't condone when Sam talks to people like that. I don't like it. She knows that, okay? I don't think it's nice. I'm just saying, okay? What I endured was some life-ruining bullshit. I'm dealing with it on a daily basis. Every day, I get up to 50 comments that people tell me I have a special place in hell, that I should be in prison, that I don't deserve to be married, that my dog should be shot in the head. I get death threats on a daily basis. So that's comparable to that. I'm sorry. Are you still dealing with that? Oh, yeah, every day. Mandy says, that's you, you align yourself with the, the people that are really messy. I don't think people that would believe him with no, he had no Who I wait, 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 wait. She said, I've aligned myself with some people that are really messy. I'm aligned with Martin. I'm aligned with Paige. I'm aligned with Sanders Kennedy. I'm aligned with Margo. I'm aligned with Stephen Mango. I'm aligned with Dustin Daly. I'm aligned with Rich Lux. Who am I aligned with that's messy? All of them? Because if that's the case, 
that every drama channel out there is messy. Seriously? I don't want anybody to fight. That's what I'm trying to say. Nobody's listening to me. Yeah, I, I get where you're coming from. You don't want people to fight, but it's going to happen. this is what's going to happen. happen. Hold on a second. It, because this is what's going to happen, okay? Martin, this is what's going to happen, and then I'll let you go so that you can enjoy your live stream. What happened to me is going to be recreated, and it's going to happen again to somebody else, okay? Because we allowed this to happen one time in the drama community. You, you know, Martin, we saw this coming a year before it happened, okay? We saw this perpetuation and this growth of all this kind of stuff. If we aren't friendly to each other and nice on some level, this is going to happen again. And it's going to get to a point where it's life ruining to somebody else. And I don't want to see what I went through happening to somebody else. It makes me sad. Okay. So if people well, don't understand I, I went what through I, some shit. I, I went through some shit and I got someone liking my cyber talk stalkers tweets with my fucking address on it. You know what I mean? So I get where you mean by that. It's good that we all can be friends. But some people are fucking stubborn. Some people don't want to sort out their shit. Some people don't want to own up to their shit. You know what I mean? Well, and, and I, I want to say, and I want to say this really quick. No. I don't mean to be offensive to anybody in here, to Mandy or Shelly or whoever else I was talking about. But I do want to say this, okay? I am having a lot of people compare what is happening in the last, and not just with this, okay? A lot of people are like, oh, you support Miss Fucking Wonderful. No, I don't. She's messy as fuck on Twitter. I have had more <coughs> phone calls with her. I have had more phone calls with her in the last two weeks than I think in the last year. And every time I'm like, girl, you need to stop, okay? And she's like, you don't know both sides. I'm like, I don't care. I only need to know one side. And I don't like what you're saying to these people. I don't like the way that you're talking to these people, okay? But I can't control that. So when people see me and they think, oh, I condone that, no, I don't. I don't condone that, not one bit. I don't like it. So, so, it's not comparable. So, so from what it, sorry, go on. But it is not comparable, I'm sorry, to what I endured and what my husband is enduring and the fact that I had to call my father and I had to call, you know, my family members and explain to them that they might get some random phone call, you know, and that the police might be called. And I had to call the police. I mean, don't even start with me about what I have gone through and how that's comparable to a tweet somebody put out. No, it's not. OK, it, it really isn't. And on a daily basis, it has continued to be petu perpetuated. I am linked in streams every day where people are like. Well, I don't know. Peter Mon does seem kind of like the kind of person that's doing that. When am I doing that? Right now at 2 o'clock in the morning when I'm on a live stream sitting outside of Meyer. I mean, like, seriously? Like, when am I up to all this sketchy behavior while well, I'm filming my vlog at 4 o'clock in the morning? You know, like, it's so sad to me that not everybody sees it for the truth. The fact that anybody believes that person one bit is, like, beyond. <coughs> and we are going to continue to allow that to happen. So basically, you feel that people say that people are saying that you condone their behavior, but really you don't condone their behavior because you tell them behind the scenes and not on camera. Ask, Dustin's in here right now. Dustin, have I told you that I don't like your messy behavior on Twitter? He's right there. He just said no, we, don't, we, don't need, we don't need proof. We just, I'm just saying... That's what you do. You do it behind the scenes. You don't do it on camera. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah, I okay. don't like it. I don't listen. I'm not, you know me, Martin. You know me really well. I'm not a bullshit artist. What I say is what you get. You know that about me. Okay. I mean, have I ever not, have I ever said something to you and proven otherwise? Or has my word been good to you since we've known each other? Like, have we lied? Yeah. Have I lied to you? No, you haven't. So my word has been good to you from the beginning. When I said I would do something or if I said I couldn't do something, I was honest with you, right? Like when you yeah. asked me to repeat the video, I came to you and I explained to you why I legally couldn't do that, correct? Yeah. So I've always been fair with you. I've always been honest with you. I go to people behind the scenes, okay? When somebody was coming to me and they were telling me that Stephen Mango was saying stuff in my live stream, I could have got on video. I could have gotten a live stream and been like, but that's Stephen Mango. I didn't do that. I went to Steven and I said, hey, can you clear this up for me? I'm confused. And we ended up having a nice conversation over it. I wish people would talk more to one another instead of fighting with each other. You know, that's what makes me sad about it. Because, if, you know, I, you know, somebody said in here earlier, they said, um, 
you know, we come to drama tales for drama. We do, and I agree with that. Thank you, Lacey, for the 500 bars. I think I deserve half of that. But um, <laughs> that's Martin's coming to the USA money. But you know, like, um, but like, I think, you know what? It, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe, excuse me. Maybe I'm just really what everybody says. Maybe I'm old you, and I feel... Maybe I'm old and I'm ideological and I'm naive and I'm a pussy. Okay. Maybe that's all true. And this whole idea of everybody getting along is stupid. And maybe it is. And maybe I'll just fade off into the, the, you know, the past and whatever, but I'm not engaging in it anymore. I'm not fighting with anybody anymore, you know, and I'm willing to hook anybody up and apologies and conversations and all that kind of stuff, because I don't want to fight with anymore. We can go to drama channels and have fun drama without it having to get ugly. It doesn't have to, you know what I mean? And it's like, it's just all of it. I don't know. It's just so taxing, you know, it just makes me sad. It makes me really, really sad because I think that every person out there, if you took them as an individual and really tried to understand them as a person or the way they are, you know, like, Hey, I have a real ability to be a bitch sometime, you know, Maybe running late to all my appointments and put me in the grocery store and somebody's standing in front of me with a hundred groceries, I might say a few not nasty things too. So you know what I mean? Like we we never know really someone's background story. Do I think that Sam is angry? I think she's angry a lot. Yeah. And do I think that she says things that are kind of cruel? Sure. And I think she knows that she does. Do I like that about her? No. But that's not how she and I talk to each other. If she talked to me that way, we wouldn't be friends. She doesn't talk to me that way. I don't like how she talks on Twitter, and I don't condone that. I don't like how Dustin talks on Twitter sometimes, and I don't condone that. And I don't like how Katie talks on Twitter sometimes, and I definitely don't condone that most of the time. And I have conversations with them, and I say, I really think, I told Dustin last night, I, and I said it to him today, I asked him, would you be willing to reach out to Steven? I think this is solvable. Let's not make 15 videos about it. Let's just nip it in the butt now. You know, you guys, you could end up being friends down the road. Who knew that Rich Lux and I would be friends? You know what I mean? So, like, let's just nip this in the butt and move on. It's just, it makes me sad. It makes me very sad. So. Yeah. And, it, 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 and you know why? Um, because I'm motherfucking Team Real up in here. Did you hear that? I think and easily get together and talk about it. I feel if you say something publicly, you get messed towards something publicly. I do think it's good I sort it out together, even if it's private. Google, you guys us and talk to each other, and then get it so everyone can see. You know what I mean? So everyone can be like, oh, so that's it. And then everyone can be like, so that's me. You know, let's say we. Me and have a drama, and then we sorted out. We had a drama pub, right? And then we sorted out privately, and no one knows we sorted it out privately. And then people continue thinking that we had a chat again. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You're really glitchy. I can't hear anything that you're saying. Okay, can you hear me now? A little bit. American Internet. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you get off here. Can you hear me? And I'll just see if I can repeat back. What I can you hear said. you. I can hear you. Okay. Well, I hear what I think. What you were saying was, if you're gonna do it, do it in a public forum, like a Google chat, and then that way everybody can see it. Is that what you were saying? Can you hear me? Yes. Private group chat. Okay. Well, I'm going to get off here so that you can do your live stream. All right. Thank you for having me on, Martin. Thank you. Have a good I, one. Hey, listen, I'm going to send you that story because I want you to do that story with my friend. It'll be good for you. Trust me. It's going to be a good story. Okay. Okay. I'll have it. Okay. Let me know when you're going to be in the U.S. and maybe I'll fly out and meet you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. See you soon. Bye. Uh, uh, love is the best. Happy to bye. Um, man. Uh, that was a long chat. My voice is dead.